Hello everyone, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our quick hands-on review of a pretty interesting lamp. It's not something that we typically cover on this channel, but in this case, the design really was so unique that I wanted to give it a quick feature. So it's called the Hung Balance Lamp, and it's named after the designer. And since it was introduced in late 2016, it sweeped many design awards been on various catalogs, some contemporary design museums as well, it's a Red Dot award winner too. So it's made entirely out of wood, and as the name kind of hints at, what's, what makes it unique is basically there are two wooden uh, spheres, and uh, they will levitate in midair, and they want to attach to each other because they're magnetic. It completes basically a circuit, and the light turns on. And when you break the circuit by pulling on one of the spheres or one of the balls, it actually will turn the light off. So it's a very clever kind of mechanical design, and it's a very interesting fusion between modern technology as well as having a very elegant kind of throwback overall vibe. And inside the box, it's actually pretty simple. This was actually a product that was released originally through crowdfunding on Indiegogo as well as in other design campaigns, and it came to life. You can now find it for about $70, which isn't you know, the cheapest lamp out there, but again, you are paying a bit more for that interesting uh, design. And on the back, you can see that this is what it looks like with the kind of uh, spheres in levitation mode and the light turns on. Handcrafted in China and the company is based in the Netherlands. So this is a lamp and before we dive into the performance and how it works, I want to point out that this was supplied by DD4.com and this is another kind of exporter of goods from China directly to the US. You can think of them as a competitor to the likes of a TomTop, GearBest, so on and so forth. Uh, competition, healthy competition is always good, so since this is a website that personally I haven't heard too much of in the past, um, this is something that I wanted to quickly point out, and you can find links down in the description below for where you can find this, as well as other tech goods like phones and more traditional forms of products. So anyways, the lamp itself is powered actually using USB, which is pretty clever, so you can just plug it into a computer, you can plug it into any standard wall socket, and as aforementioned, the entire lamp is made out of wood, so the construction quality is quite good, but it's also pretty light. In terms of size, I would say it's very comparable to other desk lamps that you may have on a working desk. Um, the light comes out from this entire ring, and there are 47 of these LEDs embedded. Since it is LEDs, they are very energy efficient, hence why it can be powered by USB. And in terms of color temperature, it's set at 3000K, so it's a slightly warmer color. It's not quite as cold. It's good. It kind of uh, imitates... Um, almost a warmer glow that you may have maybe from a candle, something like that. But there are no additional features, like you can't actually change the color of the LEDs. It's not controlled using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi from a phone, so that's something to keep in mind. It's all about the simplicity here. You also see this uh, soft touch rubber material with the company's logo on it, and uh, that is what makes it resistant to uh, sliding around quite as easily on a surface or a desk and uh, provides a nice grip. One thing to keep in mind though is that the base is still a little bit small. It looks very modern and eye-catching, but uh, because it's not quite as large as a regular desk lamp, it can tip over if it's on a slightly uneven surface. And now for that magic moment, I'm just going to put this up and you can see that the levitation is now in place held using magnets it is pretty strong so I can slide something like let's say a piece of paper in between these two spheres and it will still stay in place and it doesn't actually sever the uh, LED lights either so a pretty interesting design going on and again it's just a very interesting looking I guess display piece when you put it on a desk. People will be curious, they will want to ask questions. As far as being a lamp is concerned, it is pretty effective when it comes to having an ambient light that casts an even glow around a smaller room or a smaller surface. It's not direct light, so unlike a desk lamp where it's going to be pointing specifically at a desk or a piece of paper or a book that you're looking at, this is uh, perhaps better suited if you are uh, putting it by a computer monitor, maybe in a living room, something like that, where it's not quite as necessary to focus the light, but nonetheless it still gets sufficiently bright enough uh, in my opinion. So a quick uh, closer look at the light now. So again it has these 47 LEDs and again it's pretty even on the edges and again a pretty uh, warm glow as well. So it does feel like a pretty inviting overall color. Let's dim the other lights in the background so you can have a clearer idea of what the experience is like. In some ways it kind of reminds me of a like a Dyson fan, the ones that you can stick your uh, fingers through or your arm through because there aren't any blades. It reminds me a little bit of that, but uh, obviously this is a light and uh, 
different in that regard. But I can also, again, pull on one of these spheres and mechanically turns off the light just like that. So a very clever, interesting design there. Now, with one of the spheres on the bottom here, it's not the most elegant thing in the world since it's just uh, kind of rolling around on the tabletop. But it's uh, interesting enough that someone walking by might still want to, you know, maybe attach these two and then realize that that's really how you turn on the light and then turn it back off again. Now, the magnets are strong enough so that you can slightly tilt it around and it will still stay in place, but it's not going to work if you uh, really put this in a different orientation. So for instance, if I kind of switch the orientation like this, you can see how the connection becomes severed. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on, I guess, review of this hung balance lamp. It's not anything, again, too high tech. It doesn't have crazy new features, but it just shows you how a very thoughtful design and kind of an elegant approach can still make everyday products more exciting and interesting. A, a similar product that we did review a few months back was the levitating or floating wireless Bluetooth speaker. Another very eye-catching uh, product where it uses magnets as well to levitate a speaker uh, from a dock and it will gently kind of spin in place while blasting out music and also has LEDs on it too. And the same thing can be said about smartphones. Right now there are many devices which look alike and it's not the most terribly exciting thing in the world, but uh, if manufacturers are willing to spend a bit more of uh, time and invest into a unique design, it can definitely make the entire thing feel more fresh and interesting. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Hung Balance Lamp 